Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how we can take the green screen background for your studio recordings and replace them with a sort of TV news background. So the first thing we need to do is find a background image that we're going to put in place of the green screen. So uh, let's just go to Google Images and let's look for images with Creative Commons licensing that we're allowed to use. So Google Images Let's try TV News Studio background. And we've got lots of potential options, but we need to find one that we have permission to use. So let's go Tools, Usage Rights, and change that to Labeled for Non-Commercial Reuse with either with Modification or just Labeled for Non-Commercial Reuse. And we've got lots of different potential backgrounds here, some more appropriate than others, so you might have to do a bit of a scroll and see if you find anything suitable. And it might be that maybe we just want to change the licensing and see if there's some different ones that are better. And of course, changing your search terms might improve things as well. I'm going to go with this one. And you just need to view the original image and right-click and save that image where you've been saving your video files for this project. So that's probably in your shared area. And remember that if you've um, used something with Creative Commons, you should have uh, a source link for it, which um, you might want to put that in your end credits and say TV news image from, and then put the link in. Okay, so I've downloaded my background image, and we need to use it now to replace our green screen. So the first thing we need to do is just import the downloaded uh, background image, so we're going to go to import media and import, choose our new studio background and then that becomes part of our media and we need to create a new video track because what we do is it all works on layers so we need to actually, uh, currently we've got this one video track with our TV uh, news intro and our studio footage but we want to kind of lift this layer up so that underneath it, behind it, we can put the studio background. So we're going to go to insert video track. That creates a new video track and I'm going to move the uh, intro graphics, uh, sorry I'm going to move the studio recording I should say to that top track and you can even name it studio if you want, studio recording and we're going to drag from our media panel our news background and that's going to go underneath and that's going to go here and we need it to last for as long as our uh, studio footage lasts so we can just click uh, and sorry we can move the mouse to the end where it sort of changes to that trimming tool and we should just be able to click and drag so that it fills the full time okay and uh, what we're going to do now is click on our TV studio footage and we're going to add an effect to it and the effect we're going to add is called chroma key so we're going to make sure we've got that selected. We go to Properties, down to Add Effect, and you're going to choose Chroma Key. By default, uh, Chroma Key works on a blue screen basis, but we need to adjust it to work with our green screen. So we're going to click and drag this paint dropper and drop it into sort of the middle of our green wall. And you'll see it's now replaced bits of that green wall with the video, uh, with the photograph from underneath. The problem is we've obviously got lots and lots of green left and the reason for that is that it's, it's tolerance for how close the colour matching is a bit too, uh, it's, um, it's too intolerant, we need to allow it a broader range. So you can either try dragging and choosing a different green shade and see if it works more effectively, but actually you do want that kind of middle shade and what we can do is we can just change slightly. So we're going to uh, adjust. Um, a few of the settings and it's a bit of trial and error so let's just see if we adjust the low setting that spreads it out a bit but eventually you're gonna find if you go too far that bits of our people disappear as well so you have to be careful as you do it but this seems to be going quite well I can see it's just starting to go from the hair now though so I'm gonna pull that back a little bit so we've got a little bit of green down the bottom. We can change the uh, the high as well. Well, no, that's not a good idea. That's 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 turning people into ghosts. So we don't want that. Alternatively, we can pull this down a little bit, and we can we can add some blur. 
and that sort of smooths around the edges and that looks pretty good now. Now the only other thing we need to do is obviously this original video, the green screen ran out here and you can see the wall underneath it so it would be quite nice to crop this original footage. So we can do that by just clicking on the original uh, video that we want and we're going to go to crop in the properties and we need to make sure we match the project aspect. And I'm just going to drag that in so that this box is fully inside the green screen area and it resizes as you can see and that's looking pretty good. The truth though is when you play it, does it start flickering and blurring or does it look okay? Hello and welcome to Shiplet News. I am Lucas and I'm Josh. Here are some head headlines for Shiplet today. So that's not bad. You can see as Josh move his, moves his head, uh, it does go through the head a little bit and you can see a bit of flicker around the laptop but to be honest this is pretty good uh, and you might want to spend a bit of time trying to tweak it but it's one of those situations in life where probably it's good enough. Um, so that's how you apply the chroma key effect. Um, we've used a bit of cropping and we've put our background in. You might find again actually the background doesn't extend the full way so we could actually click on the background and we could match the project aspect on that as well so that just kind of fills the whole of the background a little bit better too. So once you're happy with that um, there's not really much more you need to do you can take your studio footage with your green screen replace and export it so that it's ready to drop into a master project or if you're going to be adding your um, your edited finalized clips uh, for your interviews into this then you don't really need to do anything else it's up to you but if you are going to export it just make sure you're exporting it using the widescreen 720p settings that you should have used for all of the other um, edits and exports that you've done